Hi guys, welcome back. I am Red Zed, and today we are starting a brand new series in Victoria 3 as America. Fuck yeah! Yes, we are starting as America, and we are going to be playing them as the most overpowered way you can play them. Not following in the steps that America actually took, but going for some laws early on that are going to make our nation so overpowered in the long run. Bring loads of people to the nation and colonize pretty much everywhere we can, uh, which should be quite fun. And it is a really, really fun nation to play. Pretty powerful, uh, but not quite as powerful as some of the European um, sort of powers, hegemons over here. But we are going to be trying to rival those guys and really, really stick it to the European man. That is how we're going to be playing. And first things first, guys, let's go through our country and our plan going forward. So, when we come into our government here, we have the Southern Planters. Now, these guys, they love slavery, okay? And we're going to be getting rid of them straight away. That's a big no-no. Go away, Southern Planters. We don't want you today. So, we're going to be installing a government that will be very happy with the laws we're going to pass. So we're going to go with the intelligentsia and the industrialists to start with. I'm going to confirm that straight away. I'm pretty sure that's the first one we want to go for. And after that, first thing, straight away, we're going to be making slavery banned. Um, straight away, 16% chance. Not so high, but let's have a look. Is there anyone else in this government that we could potentially take that will want to get rid of slavery so if we come to the evangelicals go to the laws yeah the evangelicals don't like slavery yet so we might stick the evangelicals in as well but they come with the southern planters unfortunately if we went like that how does that affect the law chance still about the same hmm Oh well, we'll keep the rural folk and the armed forces in there, just to piss off the southern planters quite a bit. And hopefully that law will pass pretty quickly. Then straight on from that, guys, literally the first law after that, we are going to be getting rid of the scourge of racial segregation that still scourges America today. Oh, by the way, if you're American, which is a large chunk of my audience, I will, <laughs> I will be making quite a few jokes about America. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I have to do it. I have to do it. I am sorry about that. But take it on the chin. Britain's not that great either. So <laughs> let's go with multiculturalism straight away after that. Now, the thing with multiculturalism is, first of all, all your colonized land, you begin to accept all these cultures in the places which you colonize. On top of that, because of the discriminated pops around the world, which pretty much everywhere else will have some form of discrimination, you will get mass amount of migration to your territory from discriminated against pops, which is fantastic. We want more people. More people to take out of discrimination into wage slavery. Fantastic, yes. Sounds very much like America, doesn't it? Very good. Well, the whole world, really. But let's, uh, let's talk about our tech. Sorry, I'm very hyper today. Um... Let's talk about our tech. First thing first, we're going pretty much straight down the colonizing uh, line so that we can colonize quicker than our European buddies. When I say buddies, I mean rivals. Um, so yes, we're going straight down that research line. And let's start our colonization as well. So we're going to establish our colonies everywhere we can. And on top of that, we will establish colonies down here. Although if we look... It's going to take a while, and I will also establish some colonies in these areas over here. Although it takes forever, and it's going to slow down our colonization up here. It's not slowed it down too much. 244 days is not too bad. 260 days now. And these ones down here are good. We'll take the southern tip of South America. I also do want a nice solid base in West Africa so that we can launch into sort of mid-western Africa here and uh, get a bit of a soundboard down here as well as southern Africa. Now the second thing we're going to do uh, before we've even started is we're going to do this and let's hope Britain doesn't join but we shall see we shall see. So we're going to go for that. We're also going to use pretty much all our infamy to start with. So we've already got six infamy. The one problem that you might run into with this is the fact that 
Um, these native uprisings that happen give you infamy as well. So you've got to be kind of careful with this. But in this diplomatic scenario that we're already starting, I'm going to add a few war goals. And first thing, we're going to conquer New Mexico. New Mexico. We're also going to conquer Mexican Texas, which is over here. And we're also going to go for... I like Chihuahua and Sonora to start with because it splits Mexico in half. So let's do that. And Chihuahua. And let's have a look at our infamy now. It's already up to 34. I think we can take one more then without getting too overblown. Um, potentially Arizona. I would like California, but I don't want it split from the rest of my nation. Mexican Utah as well would be a good option, but I'm not sure that exists as an option straight away. Let's have a look. Uh, yeah. Hmm. There are some places down here that have gold mines. Does Sonora have gold mines? No. It is, is it Sinaloa? No. Durango. I think they're further down. Arizona. Well, we're not going to take Baja. Rio Grande, though, would be a good one. It's a decent place. Lots of... Well, not that a huge amount of population. Not in, anywhere over here doesn't have a huge amount of population. So, so, I think Rio Grande. I have in the past gone for Rio Grande, Veracruz, and Yucatan. However, that does start us with a little bit too much infamy. So, uh, I think we go for Rio Grande as the last one. 10 infamy extra. Puts us up to 44. It's quite a lot. However, that's no problem whatsoever. We're going to try and take this. We only start with two generals, do we? Really, only two generals. I could have sworn you start with three. Um, but anyway, I don't know. So we're going to advance this front. We will also be activating some conscripts, but not quite yet. Our troops are so much better than Mexico that it doesn't really matter too much. Now, let's go on to our budget. And we already start with low taxes, which is fine. I'm quite happy with that. We'll also go down with... Yeah, minus 100% training rate. That's not too much of a problem. I think we go down to here then. We'll also potentially go down... No, I don't want the petty bourgeois angry with us right yet. So let's go up to here. And we will get a tobacco tax. We'll do two consumption taxes. And we will do a luxury furniture tax. And then the rest of our authority we will use for... Uh, I do want to do this at some point. Especially Michigan and Wisconsin. And, well, all of these four would be perfect for integrating right away. Not quite yet. We're not going to do that yet. But we will put in a decree. And I will get a greener grass campaign in New York. And then I want to promote social mobility in... I wish this would have populations on it. I want the, the most population. I think Virginia has a pretty high population. Let's have a look. 818. Yeah, New York's pretty high. Pennsylvania, I should have gone for that, but... Oh, well. Um, actually, yeah, cancel that. We'll go for Pennsylvania instead. Perfect. Very good indeed. Now, is there anything else I want to do? Let's have a look at our market. Grain, fabric, clothes are a real problem right now. Food also. Furniture, but tools. So I think what we'll do, building-wise, we already start with quite a significant amount of construction. But I will upgrade three more construction centers. Uh, no, four. I think we can handle four. We're going to go into a bit of debt to start with, but that'll be fine. Then we'll go for some grain. So, we'll go for maize farms. Uh, Ohio looks like it potentially will be the best place. So, we'll get a 10 grain, uh, 10 maize farms up there. Then, we'll look at cotton plantations. Where can we put those? Let's have a look. Louisiana. We'll go for four there. That'll use up all the peasants over there. Then, let's build some tooling workshops. Because that's going to be hugely important if we want to industrialize. I think I'll build five there. 
and five here. And then that's what we're going to do for building to start with. When we start seeing more sh um, shortages of iron, etc., all that sort of thing, uh, we will go and sort that out. Now, diplomacy-wise, let us improve relations with Britain. Let's also improve relations with France, because they're both colonizing down here. And then, potentially... Portugal because of their colonization, but it's not really that important. I could go for Brazil, but I don't think we'll ever be able to puppet them diplomatically, so let's go for Spain. Now that we find it, it doesn't really matter too much. We've done our research. We've done our laws. Hopefully that got, that's, that get that gets passed quickly if I can speak. <laughs> Um, diplomacy. Yeah, we're fine. We're fine. Journal-wise, Texan statehood. We want to go for that. We will start to get... We do have the slavery debate here, which you can see. The following must be true for a total of 10 years. US has enacted slavery banned, um, which is fine. Uh, you also get the Indian sort of uh, expulsion done as well, which is another reason... Why we want to go for multiculturalism to start with. Uh, because that will end that chain prematurely. Which is great. So we'll, we'll uh, manage to retain our Native American populations in these territories. Uh, revolution from the Southern Planters already, hey? Really? Hmm. This has not happened before. Seven states. Ten a week. I think we've got to do do it. I think we've got to do it. New York would secede, really. Virginia, West Virginia. Hmm. There's not much we can really do to make them happy, though. Hmm. I think we'd be fine uh, with this revolution. So let's go for it. Is that even legal? Yeah, we've got the uh, Indian removal. Get an abolitionist in there. Now let's recruit another general in the Dixie HQ. Open terrain. It's bigoted. Let's go for the explorer who's meticulous. That sounds better. And we'll get him mobilized. Defend. Oh, it looks like Canada has joined this. I'm not too bothered about Canada. Shouldn't be too much of an issue. We could actually take... Saskatchewan or Hudson Bay, Ontario, but it's going to be too much infamy, infamy, I'd say. We could also take Columbia District. Oh, no, we couldn't because that's a separate entity. Let's go with this revolution. Progression can increase to enact landed voting. They want landed voting. That's why their revolution's starting, really. Really, really, really. I'm not too sure about that. <laughs> the John Ross protest. Yeah, keep the rural folk happy for now. And then let's activate some of our conscripts. We'll get 13 in Alabama. We'll get 35 in New York. And 14 in Kentucky. And that should start replenishing our troops, getting our numbers up slowly. But surely, and we're already in the negative, but that's absolutely fine. We did build the construction sectors, so now we should be pumping out those grain. That grain over there. Oh, they just accepted it. God damn it, bro. That is not what we wanted. Well, we're going to have to wait. We, we spent... S this is... Yeah, a lot of our infinity has gone down now. We'll have to see out the revolution then. That'll be one thing we'll do. Going up at zero per week now. That's fine. Uh, what are we doing? Oh, I don't want to make anyone happy. I'm fine making the southern planters more unhappy. It'll lead to revolution, but that's fine. Make the industrialists slightly more unhappy. I'll also stick these guys on the... Uh, on that. The industrialists are ha happy enough. They're neutral right now, which is fine. Yeah, the Indian removal...
Yeah, I don't want it. I don't want them all to die. I want to save them all. Save as many as we can. Um, for now. Then when uh, when our truce is up with Mexico, which will be in 41, we will go straight back and try and take their land again. That's exactly what we want to do. Glad we've got our colonies down here. That'll be fantastic. We've also got them all up here. Slowly but surely chipping away. Should follow their advice. We 100% should. And then the revolution will tick down. So... Without that war to start with, we are just going to be managing our economy. And our bureaucracy would be good to get up slightly. Do we have any tax deficit? In New York, we do. So I'm willing to build a couple more government administrations there. And that should, in theory, allow us, if we come to politics, get a better colonial institution when we can. Uh, which will be... Does pharmaceuticals allow? No. It's quinine that does. I don't care. Um, yeah. Quinine allows plus one max colonial institution investment. So we will go for that straight away. Uh, Brazil have gone uh, and taken the small nation. Oh, no. Wait. Uruguay. Did they? Did they win? Or did they lose? I feel like they lost. I feel like... Uruguay shouldn't exist if they win. Hmm, interesting. Well, that's good. Let them fight. Yeah, whatever. I don't care. You fight among yourselves, boys. I don't really care. But yeah, uh, the US is genuinely a very, very strong nation. And you can do a lot with them. Ideally, if you're starting, you don't want them to back down. Because that all only gave us this little sliver of American Colorado there. I wanted to take all that land. But we only have to wait five more years before we can do that again. And hopefully they don't back down that time. And then by that time, we might have multiculturalism passed as well. So that when we take this land, we'll be able to accept uh, the Mexican people down here. Which will be fantastic. They will be happy. Our radicals are going up. But our standard of living is also going up. So surely that should come down at some point. It's probably because of... Yeah, standard of living is still the main thing. The enslaved people, which will be gone very soon. Hopefully. 24% chance is not too bad right now. Miracle. Yes. And ideally down here, we'll get to the point where we're not spending 2,300 days colonizing. Um, which will be ideal. <laughs> we don't really want 2,300 days Low market access in all these places. So we will build ports in all these places to get the market access. Make sure they're thriving. Build it all. American Windward Coast. Ports don't take too long to build as well. So it's not too much of a problem. And they don't cost that much either. So let's build that. And building-wise, construction, we're building the tooling workshops. Let's have a look at our budget again. Not our budget, our market again. Fabric is a big one. Grain has gone down slightly. We are lacking iron. So what I'm going to do is import some iron. Let's import some iron. How much can you provide? 25, is that all? What's our, what's our lack on that? Yeah, it's, it's a lot. So, I think... Wait, fabric? Fabric's gone down significantly now because of those places we built. So, I think we built iron next because that'll help the tooling workshops. So, let's get the iron mines. And do we want to build New York? Not really. I think we go for Massachusetts. Hmm. No, let's, uh, let's build seven. Let's also look to build some logging camps. Let's make wood nice and cheap so our tools become nice and cheap. And I don't want to build them everything in New York. So, let's build eight there. They should take about 5,000 people, right? Yeah, it's around 5,000. So, 40,000. So, that'll leave 20,000 free peasants. So, we're not going to upset the peasants there and not be able to fill those places. So, that should be fine. Revolution's ticking down now. Honestly, I don't care what the southern planters think. The opposite of America at this time period. I really couldn't give a fuck. 
I want everyone else to be happy. And if they hate my guts, good. They're for slavery, so... <laughs> good. <laughs> I'm glad they hate me. Go away. <laughs> they just need to become less powerful. Now, that's, that's the one problem. Pharmaceuticals is unlocked. Fantastic. Nice and quick. Uh, let's go for quinine. And then as soon as we can, as soon as we get quinine, we'll go straight up to level 3 colonial affairs. I'm not too bothered about this right now because it gives the southern planters more power. Um, the education access is good and the assimilation is also good. But the colonialism is going to be so much better. Um, not, a, not a sentence that you probably will have heard ever mentioned, ever said before that, actually. Um, right, let's improve our relations with someone else. Um, yeah, let them celebrate. Improve with Russia, because we will have some dealings looking to try and take Alaska at some point, or to try and go after the Japanese shogunate. They're a really good puppet to have. Um, yeah, America and Nebraska will remain, remain free. The Indian Territory... Poor Cherokee people. Um, a storage tank full to the brim with molasses. Flooding the streets. Killing dozens. Oh my days. Killed by molasses. God damn it. That is not a good way to go. I mean, there's no real good way to go. But that's potentially one of the worst. Now, fabric is again extremely expensive. Gonna have to build some more cotton plantations. Um, I'm thinking we have 20,000 in Arkansas. Alabama, we've only got 29,000 people. New Jersey. What? New Jersey can build them, really? I think North Carolina. Build another 10. That's 50,000 peasants used up there. That'll be fine. And we will be plenty away. It's a good start. Good start. It's a bit chilled, more chilled than it normally is because I like to have that war with Mexico, but oh well. There's no point reloading and replaying. Uh, we are doing pretty well, I'd say. And again, we're on lower taxes, so that is fantastic. And we're still making money. That is the power of America. You can make so much money. Now this is going up to 10 a week. Oh, Great Sioux Uprising. Oh, God damn, our generals keep dying. Go away. Just don't die, will you? Get him in there. The problem with these is they give us extra infamy that we don't need, really. It does allow you to integrate the land a lot quicker. But let's have a look at our infamy. Yeah, three. Ah, I'm, I'm, I'm guessing the patch has really sorted this infamy out. Yeah, it says 7.5 for this. But I guess that'll happen when we take it. A lot of radicals are increasing right now. Oh, well, we've got a large population, so it's fine. Wait, they just seceded. They just accepted it. They just backed down. That's fine. How's our infamy looking? Yeah, it's still saying 2.5. So, that's great. Our tooling workshops are getting to... Getting done. Let's have a look. Where are our tools? Let's have a look. Oh, come on. Yes! Now we have a surplus of tools. That's fantastic. That is absolutely superb. Uh, we need tools. Now, can I... Is there any more iron import routes? Ten. It's just not enough. Fabric as well would be quite nice. 270 from the French. I'll take that. Let's have a look at our market. Yeah, there's a lot more than 270 we're lacking right now, so let's keep on going. Slavery's still being debated. Yeah, they keep getting up to about 50%. And that's that's markets. Uh, they keep getting up to 50% and stopping, which is fine for me. If they want to start a revolution anyway, I, I will win, so don't worry about that. <laughs> New York's still inefficient taxes, and we have built government administration. It's going down. Let's have a look. Uh, where's the government administration? There it is. Have they managed to fill it? Yes, they have. Lots of clerks and lots of bureaucrats. 35k in there. They should have a decent life, really. 
Uh, isolated regions. Yeah, I know they're isolated. Don't worry. Uh, the, the ports are being built. At s the ports are being built now, so they won't be isolated anymore. As you can see, nicely starting down here to colonize. We're starting over here as well. Goddamn duchies are here as well. That's the French over there. Uh, France and, and Britain really can, can colonize this area of West Africa so quickly at the start. Um, as you can see, Britain's just absolutely pouring through over here. So hopefully we manage to... Revolution is upon us. That's fine. So we've only got one general. Wait, it says four. Why? Hmm. Military-wise, mobilize all generals. He has zero battalions, apparently. Um, we're going to have a lot less conscripts, but let's uh, activate them all. All the big ones, anyway. And then let's recruit a couple of generals. We'll go for the New England HQ. And we'll also... Do we do another one for the New England? Yes. Let's go for this guy. He's ambitious. So we'll have you two mobilize, defend and advance that front, and then you defend and advance that front. Now, let's see. We'll probably slow it down, which is strange for me on Victoria. I never really find myself needing to play on a slower, a slower one. But hopefully they start getting troops into their armies very soon. You can see uh, five now for William Schubrick. Uh, they want war reparations. <laughs> How much infamy for this? There is none because it's it's ours. We can sway people to our side. I mean, I don't think so. We don't need to, do we? We can offer them an obligation. It might as well. What's the point of turning them down? So, I hate the southern planters. Uh, no, I'm not going to be the uh, the Southern Planters. Fortunately, we're going to coerce those while you bayonet at point. And we get a free university. That's fantastic. Thank you. Thank you for that. I'm going to mobilize you just in case you have any troops. But I don't think you do, do you? Lacking significantly in troops. This army is getting a lot less of the mobilized troops. So let's... Oh, let's activate them all. Activate everyone. And then let's recruit another general. How many in reserve? Only four. That should start going up. When it does go up to about 20, we'll, uh, we'll recruit another general. Get another army on the way. They have a lot of troops, as you can see. So I'd probably set us back to being... Defensive. And also... Oh, what? They just backed down because Britain joined. Fantastic. We'll save the Union. Yeah, slavery ban. That's what we want to go for. A United States enables law slavery ban. Yes, we've done it straight away with that. That's actually fantastic. Reconstruction. Readmit the successionist states. Adds equality for all. Yes. Right then. Uh, let's have a look at our states. Does that mean that those states are not incorporated anymore? Um, yes, it does. That is that is awful. That is really bad. Do you know what? We're going to take the hit on our bureaucracy. Incorporate them all. It's going to take a lot of time to reincorporate these places. Take all that, and we will leave it at that, so that when our technology comes around, we'll be good. We should start making money back again now, though, but that's it's a big, big damaging chunk gone to our economy there. Really? That is so annoying. At least it only takes two years to do that. Then we'll start making some serious cash again. Carpet baggers. Northerners in the state of Louisiana have been targeted by locals who denounce them as troublemakers and exploiters. Writers and orators in Massachusetts, however, have demanded that the government protect them. Um, 
I mean, I think there's a lot more Yankee... So I think there's a lot more Pops in Massachusetts. But damn, where is Massachusetts, bro? Bro! There we are. <laughs> there we are. What are we lacking, anyway? Construction... Shortage of iron, yeah. Uh, well, I'm sorry. We're trying to... We're trying to fix that. Yeah, population of 860k. So 10% of those... Uh, would be 86k. And then... Louisiana down here. Yeah, there's, there's no point doing that. Go for the uh, Massachusetts. Definitely more people. Uh, violence between white rioters and black freedmen has caused significant tension in Mississippi. Hmm. Um... Uh... I mean, again, let's go to Mississippi and see. We're just playing this slow, guys. We're playing it nice and slow. Where the hell is Mississippi, bro? There it is. <laughs> My American knowledge shining. So, six, about a third is... Mm, I think this is the, the lesser of two evils, honestly. Um, yeah, Mississippi. Don't want that. Right, let's press play again. Speed it up. I didn't mean to do that. So you can see we're, we're gobbling up a lot of this territory quite quickly. Is there anywhere else in here? Yes, let's do that. And by 41, we should be able to uh, do our attack on Mexico again. Now, hopefully this time they don't back down. That would be ideal. The other thing is I don't want anyone else to join. That would be a big problem. Ah, oh, right. Let me just pause that. A coalition of former Confederates and Confederate sympathizers have won control of Delaware's state government through means fair and foul, threatening the ongoing process of reconstruction. Ah, I'm just going to do that out of thematic, thematic sense, but it's probably the worst option. We have more loyalists. Than radicals, honestly. That's fantastic. I was not expecting that. This patch. I haven't really played that much since the patch. And it seems to have... Uh... Yeah, upper strata, there's not that many of them. So it doesn't really matter. matter. Uh, political groups opposed to the reconstruction of organized militant units to intimidate Mississippi. Ah, what are we doing? What? Why have I not gone to laws here? And... 31% chance for multiculturalism. Straight in there. Let's go, baby. Fantastic. America. <laughs> sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, let's uh, let's make Brazil happy. Let's see whether we can help them out uh, becoming our puppet. But I doubt it. I doubt it. Ultimately, the goal is to pretty much control South America and West Africa. Both areas which we would love to control. Our technology for quinine is nearly done, which will be amazing. Then we can go for... We need to go for nationalism, which is a quick one. And then civilizing mission. Which, by the time we've gone for nationalism, should hopefully be slightly quicker than seven years. But we shall see. Oh, god damn. 25 devastation in Iowa. I don't care. A sympathizer of a recent rebellion has taken the life of Henry Clay. God damn it, bro. God, the, the Civil War is definitely so much, so much harder than not getting it. Because in the other playthroughs, I didn't get it at all. I just passed ban slavery, multiculturalism, fine. Everyone was happy. No Civil War, no revolution. But I'm assuming that the patch has made it much more likely that the revolution will trigger. We might have to raise our taxes. Because I want to stay positive. So we will raise them slightly. We are starting to build our iron mines now. So let's have a look at our market again. Iron starting to come down quite significantly. How are our tools looking? Yeah, tools. We've got a surplus, which is fantastic. And I want there to be a surplus of tools. I don't want to export them. I want them to be cheap so that our manufactories uh, run even cheaper. So that uh, our manufacturers are much more efficient. Fantastic. Quinine. 
Let me pump that up. Oh, we need 136. Really? Really? That's so close. Well, anyway, the next technology is uh, nationalism. Then we'll go for civilizing mission. Um, that means building-wise, let's build a few government administrations. And uh, tax down here is not good. So we'll build a few more in these places. That should hopefully mean our tax... Um, we're, that we're taxing them the right amount. Cool. Redeemers. Coalition again. Arrest them. Get rid of them. Yeah. Gonna get a lot of radicals from this. So, reconstruct the formerly uh, rebellious states. Yeah. Well, what does that mean exactly? Does that just mean incorporating them? Because that's not too far away. Um, yeah, multiculturalism. We've got the technology, haven't we? What else did I want to do? Oh, yeah, build uh, build those things. So, build the government administrations. So, we'll put these to the top. And then we'll, once uh, the iron mines are done, we'll have a look at our resources again, see what we can balance out. See, our economies, it dipped a lot because of the confed uh, confederacy. And it's still low because these states are not incorporated yet. But at some point, we will um, uh, we will have our economy on the up. Okay, Dixies, we'll allow them, and then we'll arrest these guys. It's a bit of a balancing act, isn't it? A bit of a... Our standard of living is very, very high right now. 13.8 is fantastic uh, as a starter. Let's have a look at our migration, then. Is there any migration into our country? There is. I know there's emigrants. New York? New York sending people elsewhere. No, there's not a huge amount. I don't really understand this map mode because the same colours for emigration and immigration. See, look, this is red, 20 emigrants, but this is green and 55 emigrants. It doesn't really make sense. <laughs> but anyway, a good vintage. I think we go for the wine output. Make us some more cashola. And now we can enact that. It's going to take 50 weeks, but that's fine. Uh, more 25% in Buenos Aires. That's fine. I don't care about Buenos Aires. It's a colonized land. It's not incorporated yet. That's absolutely fine. Yeah, authorize that. Rural folks are going to be a little bit upset. They're only on minus one, though. Industrialists are happy. Petty bourgeois are happy. Intelligentsia are very happy. Could do with getting the armed forces happy. The Southern Planters will now be marginalized, which is absolutely incredible. Look at them. They're only 1.1% now. We have pretty much destroyed them. We have absolutely ruined them. Yes, very good. My plan is all coming together. Um, yeah, We're still on 1,900 over there. I was thinking of just, just plopping down some colonies down here just to annoy them. Have a little bit of an inlet over there, but... Really, it doesn't matter too much. Uh, by the time we get this, by the time we get the next upgrade, Civilizing Mission, we'll be colonizing very quickly. Um, like, sort of 50, 60 days over there. More carpetbaggers. Whatever. New parties have formed. Ah, oh, we're now making loads of money. So we'll reduce that again. That should help with the uh, with living. So lower strata. Hmm. Farmers. Where does it? If we go to our population here, they're paying nine percent of the base price of stuff they need. So that's predominantly food, tools, all that sort of thing. These guys are paying twenty. 5% more. Paper will be a big thing that we want to take soon as well. Build soon. 40 acres and a mule. Yeah, let's do that. Gunfight at the corral. Again, more devastation. It's very annoying, this. Only six months to go, though. Fantastic. Building more iron mines. So, let's have a look at our market. Iron is still a problem. 
Let's let the iron mines complete and then I'll have a look. Excuse me. <clears throat> yeah, fabric and clothes. Again, massive issue. Massive, massive issue. Wait, fabric just gone up loads and then goes down loads. I, I don't get that. There must be some buildings not filling the workers then. No, looks like they are. Oh, wait. Uh, cotton. We're, we're cotton plantations, aren't we? Uh, yeah. Looks like they're full. Yeah, I think... Yeah, they keep bouncing between... Hmm. Yeah, I, I, I mean, it looks like we're full, so I don't know why that's bouncing around so much. The Crusade for Change. Yes, fantastic. Uh, yes, 20% more enactment success. Fantastic. Go for that one this time. And again, we'll go for the Devastation. Multiculturalism will hopefully get past next time. That'll be absolutely superb. Again, low market access. Hmm. Do I want to increase the ports over here? I think we'll go for building the ports then. Um, let's have a look. All these places that have low market access will build another port. Just to bring them up to scratch. It might just save it when the... Uh... Yeah, New York doesn't even have a port, so we'll do that. We don't have railways yet. That's another thing we want to get at some point. Uh, but again, as I say... Still on 1840. When does that truce end with Mexico? So now the iron mines are done. I know we're splitting around here, but there's a lot to do. Yeah, we're pretty good for iron. I think we'll build a couple more. Also, paper and grain would be good. Coal right now is, is bad. So is clothes. Where's our fabric again? Do you know what we'll do? So the first thing, we'll build some more iron. So let's build iron mines. Connecticut. Yeah, you're incorporated, so that's good. Let's go for four more in Connecticut. Then let's have a look back at our market. And the next thing I think we'll go for out of these, we'll, buy, we'll build some paper, paper mills. Uh, we'll build them in New York, and we'll build six of them. Then we've got the iron. Wood is seems to be good right now, and we're building more wood, so that'll be fine. Tools should still be good. Yeah, tools are really good. Then I think we'll build some more grain. So we'll go for the maize farms. What's the difference between these? And again, we'll go for Ohio. Ohio has a huge population. So, let's build nine of those to take it up to 25. Then, market-wise, we'll build some coal and then we'll build some clothes manufactories. So, let's go for coal. Again, Ohio's an option. Are any of these got some good modifiers for coal? Uh. 20 infrastructure. That's a state trait. Chestnut forests. Anyone got a good one for coal? I wish there was a way of seeing this. Great Plains. Agriculture. Hmm. No, I don't think any, any have one for coal. Oh, wait. No. West Virginia does. Yeah, West Virginia will build there then. Does this also have Appalachian? So does Virginia. How many peasants do you have? 108. So we'll build in Virginia. We'll build those mines in Virginia. I know it's got low market access, but it will have market access soon when we build those ports. So I'm thinking... Build 10? No, let's go for 12. Then what was the next thing? Yeah, it was furniture and clothes. So let's build a load of clothes and then a few furniture. Furniture's not that important, is it, really? Again, it's the... the <laughs> The few industrialized places. I think we'll go for Indiana for this one. See, the thing is, you want to use up, like, a load of your um, your peasants, don't you, really? So, we'll go for Indiana. Also, let's build some motor. 
Just for the future, not for now. Not for now. Um, I'm thinking... Where do we want to go? They're all pretty similar. Let's go for... I could go for Louisiana. Just build... Five. Um, and then, so we built the clothes. Let's build the furniture manufactories as the last thing. And we already have some in New York, so... Can't, can't be a problem. We'll build eight. <laughs> So now we've got 62 buildings queued up. So that should help keep us busy for a while. Carpet baggers. 40 acres and a mule. Fine. Low market sack. Expensive. Clippers are expensive. So we will sort that out soon. Yeah, some turmoil in some states. Uh, when was the truce up? That was one of the things that we we're going to check. 11th of April. Cool. Come on, multiculturalism. Really want you to succeed. I'm going to... We'll play this episode until we get to incorporating these guys in five weeks. How are our colonies doing? Pretty decently. I'm quite happy with them. 250 days down there. Down there, it's still a long time. But hopefully, when this uh, institution is enacted... Oh, wait. It has been enacted. Fantastic. So that should be even quicker now. Should be quicker. Oh, yeah, there we are. It just updated. So it went down half. So let's have a look. Yeah, we've we've halved it over here. Fantastic. Can't wait till we can get to level four. Yeah, you can see. That'll be great. And technology. Yeah, we're on nationalism. Straight into civilizing mission, which you can see is already reduced in the amount of time it's going to take. Let's keep doing that. Our, our radicals are going up, but... Once the reconstruction is done, we should be good. Hmm. Oh, wait. Is it incorporated now? Is anywhere not incorporated? I... What do I have to do for this? So, reconstruct the formerly rebellious states. But what... Start... Yeah, I have reintegrated them all. Hmm. We'll go for that one this time. Yeah, I'm happy with the government, unless their legitimacy... The legitimacy is quite low. Let's have a look. We've got a free one here. Get rid of the rural folk. They're not that happy anyway. Can get rid of the armed forces as well, but does that help the law out? Let's have a look. Uh, yeah, where they're not bothered about it. Yeah, they don't care about the multiculturalism, the intelligentsia, and the industrialists. I don't think I think the industrialists might be against it. You know. Uh, let's have a look. No, they're not bothered about it either. The armed forces won't like it, surely. Uh, you know, for now, because we're at 57%, we'll, we'll, we'll chance it. We'll keep it going. And then, if it is a problem, we will, uh, we will change up the government. Uh, I'll make the rural folk a bit happy, because the industrialists are already happy. They're on minus one now. I'd like to get them to plus one. Loyalists kind of going down. Standard of living's gone down a little bit. We're fine. We're fine, though. This is good. This is good. I know this is a long episode, guys, but... So... Patagonia, that doesn't matter. Um... I don't... I still don't know. I, between episodes, guys, I'm going to look this up. But I think... Surely it's to do with the uh, states that are not incorporated. Oh, look at that little spot there. Can't incorporate any of those. They've all been incorporated, I think, now. 
Yeah, it's incorporated. Nationalism is unlocked. So let's go for civilizing mission. It's going to take five years, but it's fine. It's going to be worth it. Trust me. I, I don't get it. How do we do that? Rebuild the nation after the divisive civil war. I feel like I have. Yes. Yes. Even more. Oh my god, it didn't pass. Really? Well, guys, I think we're going to uh, end that today here. So I hope you've enjoyed. It's been a pleasure as always. Please do like and subscribe. It really does help the channel out. And I will see you all again on the next video.